Hello and welcome to another Scotty Blocks video. Today we shall be looking at this Lego Star Wars Sith Troopers Battle Pack, reference 75266. It contains 105 pieces of Lego goodness. Before we get on with the review, I'd like to ask you to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this video. Existing and new subscribers are recommended to set the bell icon to receive all notifications so you'll be notified whenever I upload. Of course, this set is based on the terrible movie The Rise of Skywalker, which was entirely built around plot contrivances that don't stand up to any logical scrutiny, but at least it wasn't as bad as The Last Jedi. Turning to the back of the box, we see an illustration of the model plus the minifigures. Now let's tear this open and see what's inside, and no, there won't be any Shopkins this time. Inside we get one loose 4x10 base plate, two bags of parts and an instruction booklet. Let's take a quick look at the pieces before we get building. Lots of smaller elements, quite a few jumpers and four of these 1x2 Technic bricks with the hole in the middle. Of course we get four stud shooters. Yay! Four minifigures are included, three troopers and a Sith Eternal Officer. The troopers have, surprise surprise, an angry clone face. Even though, as far as I'm aware, the Sith troopers aren't actual clones. I don't think their origins are explained in the movie, but it is possible I missed that part because I stopped paying attention I got that bored. The two minifigures on the left are jet troopers, and the one here is a regular Sith Trooper. There's a difference in the torso printing. Uh, I quite like the design of the Jet Troopers. You can see the yellow insignia there, plus some other markings. Turn the figures around. And we can see the printing on the back is different as well. We also get some printing on the back of the officer. When you put on the jetpacks, it covers up the printing on the back of the torso, but the packs themselves have a one by one printed tile. You can see there that is the same symbol as is on the front of the torso. Now let's take a look at the completed minifigures with their headgear on. The jet troopers have a different style helmet to the regular Sith trooper who is basically a First Order Stormtrooper painted red. Uh, the officer has a wee symbol on his cap there, which my camera doesn't want to focus on properly. Never mind. Uh, the helmets on the jet troopers are not actually very secure. They do have quite a lot of wobble on them. And I think when kids are playing with them, they will have the tendency to just fall off. Again, another issue is the quality of plastic because, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it feels quite cheap and scratchy, nowhere near as good as the plastic on the rest of the minifigure. Like most collectors, I hate stud shooters, so I'm going to swap them out with regular Star Wars blasters from my collection here. There we go, that's so much better. Although, when I was changing the stud shooters for the blasters, I lightly touched one of the Jet Troopers helmets, and now it's loose. To be honest, I would have preferred it if we'd got two regular Troopers and just one of the Jet Troopers. Or in fact, just three regular Troopers, never mind about these guys here. I can't remember there being Sith Jet Troopers in the movie. There was First Order Jet Troopers, but I had tuned out by the end of the film and the climactic battle. They're all on the side of the Star Destroyers, and it's meant to be very exciting, but I was bored senseless. Yes, the Sith Troopers just turn up and get gunned down by the Rebel Alliance or the Resistance, or whatever the hell they're calling themselves these days. The main build of this set is a speeder. A nice use of trans blue parts for the engines on the back there. It can take three minifigures, like this. The driver on the left hand side has a control handle, plus the world's smallest windshield. A weapon can be slotted in at the front of the vehicle, 
so you can get a trooper standing there to fire out at the enemy and another trooper can sit at the back on the right hand side although why a jet trooper would need a speeder is anyone's guess whilst it's not based on an actual vehicle from the movie the speeder is quite a nice aerodynamic shape and you can imagine it fitting into the star wars universe quite neatly on the bottom there is a clear flat piece here which allows it to sort of skim along the tabletop i paid about 12 pounds for this set on amazon.co.uk uh, the main reason I bought it was to get the regular Sith Trooper. I'm not a fan of the First Order Stormtroopers. I, I think they're a bit rubbish compared to the classic Stormtroopers. But when I saw them in red, uh, it sort of worked for me more than any other design of the sequel trilogy. If for some reason you enjoyed The Rise of Skywalker or the sequel trilogy in general, yes, I recommend buying this set. People who collect Lego Star Wars will probably like it too. But for those like me who have no love for the sequel trilogy, there's not so much appeal, and I should really have spent my money on something else. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment. Plus subscribe if you haven't already. Remember to set the bell icon to receive all notifications too. You can follow me on Instagram at scotty underscore blocks. For further viewing, please check out the channels that I am subscribed to. You will not be disappointed. I will see you again when I can with another Scotty Blocks video.